uh, of, of doing that. Um, the issue of traffic, uh, and it depends on time of day, uh, one's experience, and so forth. I think the applicant is correct if the town, uh, you know, probably as guilty as anyone else in town, doesn't want to see that first traffic light in the town center, but it's an extremely frustrating intersection at certain times. I think the issue here is a little bit of common courtesy that people allow each other to, uh, one car to come out and uh, all of those things. Um, I strongly support a tabling motion this evening because I, I think there are a lot of issues that have been raised by the boards. One is just some of the retentive uh, crossing of T's and dotting of I's to be sure that the board uh, doesn't run into a situation that we have with other projects and with uh, things that we've heard from the Board of Appeals. Uh, and it also may give everyone a time to, to uh, re-examine the plan one more time and, and continue to be creative in, in finding a, uh, a solution that at least attempts to please most people. Oh, lastly, having turned on the town, served on the town center committee, um, I, I think we're, we're really getting into a, I think this, as someone said earlier, this may be the third or fourth presentation to the planning board or to the town council where people are coming into our town center making proposals. Each merit stands and falls on its, each proposal stands and falls on its own merit. Some lack merit. But on the other hand, I don't want to continue on a parade of denying projects in the town center that are commercial projects. Uh, each one has a unique aspect. If there's an aspect of this that's so onerous to the abutters that we have to deny it, then I can understand doing that. But uh, I want to be sure that, it, that the applicant knows at least as one planning board member, I town center, there's commercial operations as well as residential uh, residences to the west of this site. There's just residences to the west as far as I know. I don't know if there's an in-house in business. And there's certainly commercial operations across the street as well as I won't call it light industry, but it's pretty gravelly stuff going on across the street as well as the municipal buildings. So um, I have grave concerns about continuing to deny commercial applications in the town center. Thank you. If I could quickly just address the issue of odor. First of all, it is the applicant is correct. It's not listed anywhere in the audits. I'd only like to offer the following comments that I've spent too many years in my earlier life in restaurant management and restaurant ownership. Uh, when you do smell odors from a restaurant, it's usually because they have a very simplified menu. We know what McDonald's smells like. We know what B&M Baked Bean smells like. We know what Nissan Bakery smells like. And this is true of the restaurant business. If you have a very simplified menu, you will have odors. Uh, I can only urge you to have a diversified menu to keep your filters above your stoves clean and to filter your fryer lid as often. Other than that, there's absolutely nothing you can do. It will smell like a restaurant, but I don't believe it will be a public nuisance if you just follow those simple rules. We have a motion before us. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. Thank you. Uh, to those members of the audience who are here for the public hearing, I urge you to remain in contact with our town planner. Uh, I always recommend that you do that in writing because if you write our town planner, your letter is part of the public record of this application. It is also copied and forwarded to each member of the planning board. It's the best way to communicate with the board. And I urge you to do that if any further questions came up after the public hearing closed. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Planning board will take about a two to three minute break before we take up the next issue.
I had that covered to me. Jill, Jill, my oldest friend, Jill, uh, so for case of the That's why I'm driving, driving in the 87 style. Yes. To the members of the public still in the hall, we have two more items on our agenda that we must get to. If you wish to continue discussions, if you could move to the back of the room and to the hallway, please. Thank you. At least on the on these prints we have there, it's very difficult to, Is it? Yeah, to pick them up. And it may be just having uh, just, do, uh, do, maybe do, just do. a few. Two different sheets. No, don't make it that complicated. You, you, you're going to have a demolition plan, with the yeah. <laughs> but it's really helpful to see the proposed and existing contours on the same sheet. Uh, I think it may be. Do you have them done at Express or? Where are you guys doing themselves? Yeah, just yeah, you know, just have them watch the dial. Uh, I find it wash ups that you don't you never know what you're going to get. You never really have to watch them come through the first one. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to go to the open house. <laughs> God, I'm so glad. Are we going to have a public hearing on these, or do we already have Two additional items on other business, the first one being telecommunications zoning amendments, request by the Town Council to consider amendments to the zoning ordinance that regulate telecommunications facilities, creation of a proposed tower overlay district, amendment to the official zoning map, and amendment to the comprehensive plan section 19-10-3 amendments. Maureen, you want to quickly handle the introduction? Certainly. Uh, what the board is being asked to do this evening is, is uh, basically schedule the public hearing for next month. Uh, you can't uh, make a recommendation to the council regarding amendments to the zoning ordinance without holding a public hearing. Uh, so I, I can make a presentation on these amendments tonight, or we can save it for next month at the board's pleasure. Board members? What, what were the alternatives? <laughs> I can describe them now, or I can describe them next month, or I can describe them now and next month. Oh, I think next month next would month. be adequate. One time. With the, along, along with the public hearing. I thought you were going to say none of the above. <laughs> In the meantime, we'll study them carefully. <clears throat> May I propose a motion? Mr. Emery, please go right ahead. Be it ordered that based on the materials and facts presented, the telecommunication, telecommunication zoning amendment be tabled to the regular October 19, 1999 meeting of the Planning Board, at which time a public hearing shall be scheduled. Second. Thank you, Al. Motion and seconded. Is there further discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. The motion carries unanimously. Last item on the agenda, variant standard zoning amendments. Request by the Zoning Board to consider amendments to the zoning ordinance to replace the undue hardship criteria with the practical difficulty criteria and setback reductions for non-conforming lots, section 19-10-3 amendments. Discussion by the board? Comments by the town planner? Again, this is an amendment to the zoning ordinance, which uh, you cannot forward to the council with a recommendation until you've held a public hearing, so you may want to uh, table it for a public hearing next month. Uh, you haven't seen the final draft before tonight of what you have in front of you. Uh, what it is supposed to be is a reflection of what you discussed at the last workshop. <coughs> this is the first time you've seen it in final form. so. There's a revised table that, that changes setbacks for nonconforming structures. Uh, there's also a section that changes the variance standard from the so-called undue hardship section to a variance standard that relies on, quote, practical difficulty. Uh, there's also a final section, which starts on line 40 of page 2, which addresses the board's concern that uh, setbacks could be reduced by 50 uh, percent and what this proposed amendment would do is say that under no circumstances could the setback be reduced to less than 10 feet. Discussion by the board. Huh? Mr. Chairman, it occurred to me that uh, it, it's, it's ironic in going through just several, many, many zoning ordinances that you see each community adopt some sort of a side yard, rear yard, and it's all over the place in terms of what it is. As an example, if you go down Brighton Avenue in, in Portland, uh, you'll come to a uh, what looks like a, a single-family residence and what used to be near, I believe it's Rand Road, but anyway, it was a sh shopping center that uh, Rite Aid was constructed on that site. If you look at the setback of that right aid from the property line, it's pretty impressive as to how close that building is to that adjacent residence. And that was all done with the support of the, of the planning uh, board. It may have been done with the support of the, of the butter, I don't know. But I'm wondering if it wouldn't be helpful if, if uh, either through aerial photographs that the town has or through photography, if we had examples of what a 10-foot side yard setback looks like, or if we have examples of um, recent um, Variance requests, and I mean, if I were to ask anybody here, what's 15 feet and what can you do in 15 feet? I guess we all might have a sense, but maybe we don't. We all tend to be inside when we think about these things, and, and outside space tends to be about half of what inside space feels like. So that would be my only suggestion. Uh, if we could have something, I don't want you to run. Uh, I, I didn't say who I'd be asking to do this. <laughs> But I guess I would ask perhaps if the town planner has time to perhaps or the to okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Further discussion by the board? I'd like to make a motion. Thank you, Nancy. Be it ordered that based on the materials and the facts presented, the variant standard zoning amendments be tabled to the regular October nineteen ninety nine. 19, October 19, 1999, uh, meeting of the Planning Board, at which time a public hearing shall be held. Second. Thank you, Al. A motion and seconded. Further discussion? Hearing none, please signify by raising your right hand if you're in support. Thank you. Unanimous. Make a move that the meeting be adjourned. Thank you very much, David. A motion has been made to adjourn. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Emery. All those in favor? It is unanimous. Awesome. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, Leslie. Thank, Thank you, Maureen. You. Feed it before you go.